Flash Reviews is back, this time with Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. I'm back with another JRPG review, and after being told that it was one of the better games in the Megami Tensei brand, I was excited and eager to try, especially after loving Persona 5 so much. I obviously lowered my expectations knowing this was a PS2 remaster, and yet I was still slightly let down. I'm approaching this game slash review from the point of view of someone who has played only Persona 5 and Strikers in the Megami Tensei series. Nothing else. And from the point of view of someone who knows very little about this game, but is a huge JRPG fan. First off, I gotta say, calling this game a remaster is extremely generous. I never played any of the original PS2 games. Like I said, I've only played 5 and Strikers. But I've gone back to watch footage and there really isn't a ton of difference. The visuals have obviously been sharpened, but barely, and the audio has hardly had a remix. Now the game is £45 digitally, however it is available for around £35 physically. My recommendation is you pick it up for that, because I think it's only worth about 20 quid. The game takes place at the end of the world, which I suppose is opposite to most games where you're trying to prevent that. You start in a very eerie and empty Shibuya slash Tokyo as a normal human being, where the end of the world is about to take place. After spending a while giving customised names to what seems like every character, you're made to explore a hospital looking for your teacher. After a certain series of events, the world is made anew and you come back as a demon. As a demon you obviously have to fight other demons, if you've played any Persona games these are the same as those Personas, and this umbrella of games uses these as their demons, Personas, slash personal pocket monsters. And along the way you'll find some demons to make friends with who will come along and fight with you and in your party. I did like the fact that the more you use certain demons the more they would become more friendly towards you and give you gifts or evolve, or in this case they go through a change. The demons have some sort of personality which seems to be a highlight of these games. You're really just tasked with finding out exactly what the hell has gone on and before long you discover that you are indeed the one person who can get back the normal world. I'm still not sure if it's completely gone or if you're in a different universe. It is reassuring to see you did nothing to embarrass my little master. For instance, dying. My little master has pitied you. The least you could do is survive such a trivial thing as this. Come to think of it, this is your first time seeing the new Tokyo, is it not? But the reason you can get it back is because you're half demon and half human, or something like that. Honestly, it's a really hard game to follow, and they don't give you much information at all. One of the first things that I didn't like about the game is the fact that it's just so empty and it's never really clear what you're supposed to be doing. Even the eerie atmosphere is lost because the game just feels so old, and the dated background music doesn't really do a great deal to sell it. I got tired of talking to NPCs who had nothing of interest to say or to offer me and the open world itself was just too empty and also the janky movement and transitions didn't do a great deal more to sell it. Even the damn cutscenes haven't been updated. Most of the time with the JRPG, at least in my experience, the first hour you struggle to get into it, then something clicks and you can't get enough of the story in a combat system, and you grind away for 50 or 60 hours. Like opening a tube of Pringles, once you pop you can't stop. I did get that sensation from this game, however after about 4 or 5 hours more I found myself putting the battles onto auto and just not really caring about it, if I won or not, nor about fetch quests or about getting the world back to normal. The combat ends up being very bland, and it is probably unfair to this game that I'm coming fresh off of playing two of the best games they've created. This game just feels too basic for this day and age, and if they had done a true remaster and added in more to the combat system or updated the way the combatant's protagonist moved, it would be fresher and more enticing. They do add in the ability to alter your demon powers, or Magatama, so you can be stronger against certain magics at the cost of being weaker to others, but honestly this just felt a bit pointless. I'm probably missing something. You also have the general weakness and strength combat system you're probably used to in these games. Again, feels like a very basic version of that. I really needed there to be something that grabbed me by the cojones and made me want to dive in for 50 or 60 hours and get really into the grind as you need to with every JRPG, but it just wasn't there for me. And after about 10 hours, I just switched it off because I knew I'd played enough to make up my mind because I also knew I didn't want to spend 40 plus more hours of my time on it. I can see how this game influenced a lot of other games that came after it and there are so many nearly great elements to it, however I wouldn't choose to play it over the other JRPGs in my backlog such as Strikers, Astral Chain and Bravely Default 2. I'm sure there will be a lot here for long time fans of these older games in the series but as a fairly newcomer to it all I'm not overly impressed. 
This isn't an awful game, but it most certainly is not worth £45, nor is it worth being played over the other games in my libraries. For me, Shin Megami Tensei 3 HD Remaster gets a 6 out of 10. However, it's possible that if you're a long-time fan, or if you have no other JRPGs to play, <laughs> you'll have a whale of a time with this. Just please let me know what's good about it. If you enjoyed my review, please let me know. If you're playing the game yourself, please let me know your thoughts. And if I'm wildly off the point with this, let me know why and why I should be into it. Please check out all of my other reviews and check out all of our other reviews here on YouTube. I'll catch you very soon.